I'm an astronomer and a blogger for Discover Magazine. I write the Bad Astronomy blog, which I try to update one, once or twice a day at least, about current news and science and also opinion about bad science, people who misuse science to try to sell you something, to try to convince you of something. I like to look at the world very skeptically and very critically. I demand evidence for what people are claiming, and I want them to show me why they're right. And if they can't do it, ah, I don't really pay into it. Tell me how you got into this uh, career. You know, I don't think anybody wakes up one day and says, I think I'm going to be a professional skeptic. Uh, <laughs> It's just, it's science. It's something I've always done my whole life. I've always been fascinated by space and dinosaurs and biology and geology and all that stuff. And the scientific method, the scientific way of looking at something is to say, huh, why does that happen? Why does, you know, when I mix this one chemical with the other chemical, why does it foam up and get hot? And you investigate things and, and you ask yourself these questions and you learn about it. And that is sort of being a skeptic as well. When you're a skeptic, you're asking questions. You're saying, what's the evidence for this? Could this be wrong? And so these two things go together hand in glove. So being a scientist kind of makes you a skeptic, and most skeptics I know are interested in science. So it's not just something you decide to do, it's just something that I guess it decides to do you. What kind of response have you seen from the public through your work? Or um, for your um, work? Yeah. I, I get quite a mixed reaction. Uh, a lot of people really like the, the kind of stuff I say because they're into science and they, you know, they, they want to see the world in a realistic manner. So if you know, they pick an example, uh, if they're big fans of the Apollo moon landings, there are people out there who say the moon landings were faked. And I've written, I don't even know how many thousands of words about this and talked, talked about it. So they support me. They, they, they like the fact that I'm saying, yes, the moon landings were real. These people who say they're wrong are wrong. There are people who don't like me because, in fact, if you think the moon landings were faked, you're probably not a big fan of mine because, uh, you know, I'm showing you that the, the evidence you're presenting is wrong. There are any number of groups like that. Uh, people who say that vaccines cause autism, uh, homeo homeopathy, which says that distilled water can cure everything. You know, there's a lot of, not, not just alternative medicine, but just in, in science and just in life. People who say 2012 is going to be the end of the world. No, there's no evidence for that, and the evidence they present is wrong. So these people don't like me, but that's because I want to show the world for what it is. And if somebody's trying to sell you snake oil, a bill of goods, something that's wrong, and they're basically using bad, bad evidence for it, I'm going to point that out. That's not going to win me their, their hearts and minds, but I don't care, because I'm trying to help everyone else see the world for what it is.